Hi there, welcome to Using DIY, my name is Ben. In this video, we're going to look at the Blink Floodlight Mount. Okay, so from other videos we've done on the channel, we've covered some of the Blink products off, so the doorbell, uh, integration of the doorbell into systems such as the Alexa Echo Show 15, uh, or the Amazon Show 15. Um, so this video, I've got the mount for the outdoor camera. Um, so we're gonna mount this outside, obviously, um, on the garage to use with the camera we've got out there existing already. Um, so I'll have a look what we get in the box, what's included, and then I'll go through the setup and configuration of the camera, uh, and then we'll show it actually working in real life. Okay, just to show you the box here, the floodlight mount itself. Um, so this is just the mount I've got, because I've got the camera already that you can connect into this mount. You can buy it bundled with a camera, obviously more expensive because it comes with a camera. So I just went with the mount, paid $34.99 for it. Um, so we'll drop the camera down to the desk, show what's in here. I'll show you outside where it's going and then we'll actually install the camera, see how easy it is to do. Um, I did a previous video, which I'll link up here somewhere, um, fixing the camera to the pan tilt mount, which works really well. I imagine it's a very similar process with this accessory, class as an accessory mount. Um, so we'll set through the setup process and see how easy it is and see if it is comparable to the uh, pan tilt mount setup. Okay, so we've got the box here, nicely packaged, on a cellophane over it. You can see down here it's got the beams, beams lighting on, so it's obviously using the, so for the lighting system, this beams system. Uh, so we've got floodlight mount, uh, battery powered LED floodlight mount accessory for blink outdoor camera um, So let me I think this is a sleeve Okay, so that sleeve does come off it's quite difficult to get off And you can see there we've got the lighting system in So let me get things out of here and we'll have a look at it Okay, it looks like some kind of mounting plate for the camera itself. The system, floodlight system itself. It's quite heavy. I assume it's got the batteries in there already. Um, but we'll have a look in a second. See what else we get in this box. Instruction manual. Can hear something jiggling around, so. Okay, so we've got screws and some plugs, mounting, mounting screws and plugs. Nothing in there. Nothing else in there, just some cardboard. So I'll get rid of that box for now. So we've got the unit, the two floodlights, obviously. We've got some plastic around that plastic on the back of the lights which i'll peel off a bit more plastic on top and you can hopefully see there the mount for the camera and then the usb plug that plugs in so like i mentioned previously it's very similar to the pan tilt mount setup this is rubberized though obviously to give that because it's for outdoor rather than indoor to give it the uh, waterproofing you've got the beams logo on there obviously for the lighting system. So six panel LEDs in each one. And I assume they've done the design similar to like the Blink camera, I don't know, because they give some of the, uh, um, make it look like part of one system. Okay, I've had a quick look through the uh, setup guide. It's It talks about setting up a camera, which we've obviously done already. We've got a camera on our Blink system that we're gonna use, the outdoor one. Uh, but then mentions here around removing the back cover. So on the back, there's a little locking symbol. So currently it's locked. So I'd, I've not done this yet, so we'll give it a twist. Oh, that's really easy. You've got the battery, oh, the battery cover there. Ah, so currently at the moment, there's a tab over that. So the back, so it doesn't become powered. So I'll leave that as it is for now. And then we'll Hopefully quite easy to put this back on. That's locked up. Okay, excellent. So, obviously I said that was for the 
camera mount. Obviously, it's not. <laughs> it's to mount the um, the unit itself onto some things on the back here, some like little ridges, little grooves, um, and then this is obviously mounted to um, to a surface. So this will go on. Sorry, this this will be mounted to a surface, and you can then slide. I see I've not done this yet either, so let's just give it a go. Okay, yeah. So you mount it that way. There's a little clip there. So that gets attached to wherever you're attaching it to. I'm not sure what that silver clip's for. Um, but and then that slides on. Um, so yeah, so we'll give that a go. We'll go outside. I'll show you where, what's going on outside, where it's going. And then we'll mount it on the garage and uh, get things working. So we'll remove the camera, move the light, get it installed up there. That's secured on now with the three screws with that with the uh, up sign pointing out okay so we're gonna slide this on now like that okay so camera's fitted now onto there it mounted on plugged in with a USB so we'll go for, step through the uh, Blink application now. The Blink application, so I'm in the Houston Outdoor, which has got the camera here. So I'm going to go to the driveway camera and go to the settings. General settings. There's nothing obvious has happened in there. So I'll go back, go back. What I'll actually do is I'll go to add device. And you can see I've got the floodlight mount there down at the bottom. So I've done all that, I've plugged it in, it's all looking good. That didn't work that time. Let's go try that again, go add device, floodlight mount. Done. So it says it should be automatically done. Let's load the camera. Okay, we'll pause there. I'll just go look at the uh, instructions and see if I can work anything out. Okay, so unplugged and replugged back in the camera, and I come back into the Blink app, and this was up on the screen. So I'm going to customize the floodlight settings. See the battery is 100%, motion activation, 15 seconds shot off timer, so you can go into that, change that out to 5 minutes. Leave that 15 seconds. Light brightness. Obviously that'll change battery life, so I'll put it to seven. And that's about everything. So let's go out to the light and give it a bit of a test. Okay, so now on the screen you can see we've got, just at the bottom of the uh, preview window, we've got a light icon. So I press that light icon. It does take a few seconds to turn it on manually. And we are in daylight, so you might hopefully be able to see that on the camera. There we go, so light is on now. It comes on a couple of seconds before it confirms in the app it's on, so I press that off. Again, it is a few seconds. Probably about five or six seconds and it does turn off. So what we'll do is if I go into the settings, and I'm just gonna, for now, turn on daylight mode. 
I'm going to save that. Try out the motion settings in daylight mode. So I'm going to walk towards the camera now and we'll see if the light comes on. Okay, I couldn't really test anymore because um, because it's light. Can't get it to work with the motion sensitivity. So I'll do some testing in the dark, and I'll put some updates in the uh, description with with the dark tests. I might do a quick video as well just to show that working in the, in the dark. I'll also put it into onto our website where we have a blog around each video. Just talk a little bit further about each video, a bit more detail on what we've done and any. Uh, any afterthoughts or any outcomes after we've done the video um, so I'll pop a link to that blog there as well um, but yeah it's been pretty simple to install obviously just a couple of screws to mount that mounting bracket uh, and it slides on really easily as most things with the blink stuff because it's Wi-Fi controlled it's a little bit um, time uh, the time to respond can be a little bit slow um, because it's using Wi-Fi and it's an outdoor one as well so obviously the connectivity to the Wi-Fi is fairly strong but sometimes can be a bit delayed um, if you're wanting a more uh, responsive floodlight obviously a, a wired in one will be but better but for 35 quid if you've got an existing camera I think it's pretty good to be honest with you Okay, it's dark outside, the cameras are armed, I'm going to go and see if the motion sensor works. I'm going to walk in front of it, and there we go. On it came. Again, there we go. It comes again. That's great. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video. Hopefully, it's been useful seeing the uh, floodlight flood light mount set up with the Blink camera on there. Um, as I said at the, right at the beginning, I already had the camera previously. You can buy this as a bundle with a camera and the mount together. I'll put links and stuff in the description to all that. Um, so it's been a good video, good for you, and you've liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a dislike. Give it a thumbs down. Any questions about what I've done with my install, about the camera, about the, the actual floodlight mount itself, then drop any questions in the comment section. Any other general comments about the video or my setup, again, drop it into the comment section. I'll get back to any comments in there. And hit that subscribe button to follow along for any future videos regarding Blink products and other DIY projects and other product reviews on the Houston DIY channel. Okay, see you in the next one.